So we just arrived in Mumbai just a couple hours ago and because there is no better way to discover a city than through food, we're going on a food tour. So first stop was actually a little temple on the corner of a street where she explained to us a little bit more about the Hindu religion so it was very interesting as as you can see I was there. So a chef store is a platform where you can find, you guessed it, food tours in different cities around the world. So no matter if you want to do one in Delhi, Mumbai or Bangkok, make sure to check them out. Their information is going to be down below as usual. If you are a South Indian, you will just actually mix everything together and eat it. But since we want to taste every single thing, yeah. You can mix everything one by one with the rice and eat it. From your hand. I know, that's, that's a true. I don't know why the they give me a spoon. Ah, that's very soft. So the first stop was a success. Now 63 other ones to go. Okay, no, not, not that many. Named as bun maska. Maska means butter. Bun means the bread that is here. It's just butter and bread, but it's really good butter and bread. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not just butter and bread. <laughs> mm. A street stall of Mumbai. Mm -hmm. This represents the street culture of Mumbai. So next up is actually a sandwich shop and we're gonna get a chili cheese chili cheese sandwich? Chili cheese sandwich. <laughs> Look at that! Cheese. So this is a chili cheese toast, a three bread layer toast which has a mixture of capsicum, tomatoes, cheese, mayonnaise, chaat masala and red chutney which is topped with butter, processed cheese and sew which is also called as thin fried noodles in English. Okay. Served with three different chutneys. That was a big bite. That is a sandwich. That's so good. A cheese bomb, mm. right? <laughs> it totally is. We have a masala with some thin fried noodles, butter on a boiled potato. This is what you're supposed to end with. Did you get it right? <laughs> I was waiting for a... <laughs> <laughs> This is a sweet bun. It has a bunch of different health di like health benefits, yeah. and you have to chew it 32 to 64 times before you swallow it. Eight, nine, ten. One thirty-two. Now I can start swallowing it. That's really good. So this little pawn shop on that street has been serving pawn here in Mumbai since 1890. So it's a generational store. How crazy is that? This store is just getting better and better because on top of the history that we're learning, the food that we're eating, now we're going on a train. Oh my god guys, it's a real train. I love trains. I love trains so much. That was not very long, but I enjoyed every single second of it. So right now we are walking towards the Parsi part of Mumbai and apparently those people have some of the best food around and there's only about 10,000 uh, of them left here in Mumbai.
So the cool thing about this store is that we're learning so much about like the history of Mumbai but also the history of the certain places that we're visiting. So this place here, back in the days, there was an old man that was basically providing milk to his community and his son was like, why are you working so hard? Let the people come to you instead. So he did open the store kept serving his community and delivering the milk but his son uh, basically operated the store and now years later well it's still open and we're here for a little taste test. So next up we have the sweet curd and there's actually buffalo milk in it. I believe it's like buffalo milk, sugar, uh, uh, and culture, buffalo milk, and buffalo sugar, milk, and, sugar. and buffalo milk. <laughs> mm, it's like sweet yogurt. So the Parsis have a special soda that only is only available in their community and it's a raspberry soda and apparently it tastes like medicine, that's what she said. It's good but it does taste like syrup or something. It has nothing on Orange Crush. Fair. This place was like, you can film, you can't film, you can't film, you can't film. Anyway, we had some uh, some sort of like Percy mincemeat ragu or something with bread, which was really delicious, and some Irani tea, which is similar to masala tea, but has a different kick. I, I still am a fan of it. Of it. Of it. I'm a fan of it. Okay. the spoon for you? Scoop it up, eat the bhel, do not consume the puri. Uh, okay. Because okay. otherwise you're out of the spoon. Yeah. <laughs> puri is your spoon. You have the puri crumbles also inside. There are okay. onions, potatoes, tomatoes, three different kinds of chutneys. They're they really good. I have to say it's a little hard not to eat <laughs> the thing though. <laughs> I'm so used to doing that, but it was very good. This food is so popular here that they actually have a song about it. And she's gonna sing for us. <laughs> okay, no, okay. she's not gonna. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. I guess you just have to come to Mumbai. Mm -hmm. Try to describe it. I honestly, I don't know how to. There's like cream and cilantro and like the pomegranate. It really cuts through and like take... Uh, what's for it? Freshness. Freshness. <laughs> but underneath is like, I don't think it's potato, but like lentil and... No, it is potato. Okay, and like curry and spices. Let's go try it for yourself. Thank you so much. You just subscribed to the channel. That's a good reminder for you guys to subscribe as well. So our guy just told us that uh, we are done with the first half of our food tour. I don't know how I'm gonna eat the same amount of food that I just ate again, but uh, we're gonna do that. But first we're gonna go hit some markets. Welcome on Princess Street. This market here specializes in import and export. You can literally buy everything and anything in this place. You just gotta know where to go. So right now we are in the little alleys behind the market where all the raw materials are stored from packaging goods to electronics and things like that. But it is so quiet compared to the streets. No honking, no screaming, no nothing. Just kind of silence. All the store floor are like basically mattresses. So everyone is like working but in a very uh, relaxed fashion. I like it. It's my, my, my kind of work. So as you can see on my forehead, we just visited a second temple because it's the best way to start the second half of our tour. And it's really cool to just learn about different culture, different religion. It just opens you up to the world. So now we are in the jewelry part of the market and most of the stores here have fake jewelry. They're not trying to scam anyone, they tell the people that it's fake and it's like much cheaper it's just like so people can afford certain wedding set and other things like that so we are in a chaotic area now and we are heading to an alley that is going to be full of food our recess break is open at this stage of the food tour we ask for small portions 
very messy but very good. Thank you so much. People are just so nice. This street is so full of life. Right now it is 15 after 7. There is a table with all kinds of food left and right no matter what you're looking at and literally hundreds of people. This comes from the Gujarat state of India. This is their breakfast item. You can also call it chilla. Step one, put onions on omelette. Step two, fold it. And step three, mix all three chutney. Mm, that's really good. Okay, three more spots. Just three. We can do it. And then of course you cannot have a food tour in India without eating some jelly bean. Mm. This one is a little different than the one we have in, um, in Delhi. I like it. So in Mumbai they make it a little bit different. It has a secret ingredient in it. That's some wine for that. This is okra cooked in onion and tomato gravy. Another Sindhi speciality. Veg pulao. So the tadka is also special over here. It has fried onions and it's done in clarified butter. The spread. And I am actually serving the accompaniments. In the end, it's the very famous Sindhi chutney. It's not as spicy. Yeah. That's all yours. Just so that you don't fight. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> can't like everything. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we all have a matching flower bracelet. We're basically best friends. So now we're finally heading to the last place on this food tour. And to reach that place, we have to go through one of the craziest part of the market. So she said it's possible you can get, the, you know, pushed around a little bit. She's sorry in advance for those people. People are just focused on going from point A to point B and they don't care about anything else but their mission. So let's go see the madness. Excuse me. Coming through. Sorry, sorry. Thank you. Hey, there's a lot of people here. So we have, you can eat it. So we have kofi and faluga. You eat them two together. It's a famous dessert and it is cold. Very good. <laughs> The decor of this place and the way the waiters are dressed up as well, it makes me think of like a 1950 American diner. <laughs> Puja, thank you so much. It was such a great evening. Lots, no, too much food, I have to say. <laughs> I'm full, I don't want to eat for the next few days. But um, an amazing experience. Guys, I highly, highly recommend it. Ask for her, especially if you decide to book with a, a chef store. <laughs> Otherwise, we have our little uh, friendship bracelet, so we're basically <laughs> friends forever. Best so, friends. Uh, it was a pleasure, and I hope to see you again. Yes. My pleasure. Thank it you was so much. great to have you all on my tour. <laughs> Thank <Enjoy>. you. Trying to find us a cab. She just left us on the sidewalk while uh, she's uh, negotiating local way. Yeah. She's yeah. hiding the tourists. Always. <laughs> <laughs> in this part of Mumbai there is actually no tuk-tuk sadly I love a good tuk-tuk <laughs> but these little taxi cab are basically the equivalent of tuk-tuk like windows down fairly cheap pretty fun to ride <laughs> home sweet home 
but only for tonight. So once again, what a great evening this was. And like I said at the beginning, like a food tour is a very, very good way to discover a new city, a new culture. Like for me, it's the best way. It's the only way. It is because again, <laughs> foodie, like us being foodies, but also like when you're just walking by yourself, sometimes you don't yep. really know what happens. So didn't know like a bit always of bring a local no. massive shout out to Pooja. Oh, she's she amazing. was awesome. We actually connected with her. Like she was actually like, yeah, sweet. Like I would just go grab a drink with her. Absolutely. She, she's great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to bed because tomorrow, another early morning tomorrow, we're doing something that has nothing to do with India, but still in India. And, the next, and I'm very excited about it. In the next three days, we have a new hotel every night. And I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> that's our good all. Our, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it's really not the best way to Anyways, travel. But when, uh... <laughs> when you want to do as many things as possible in a very short amount of time, this is what you do. We got this. That's what we got Otherwise, to work with. see you guys. In the next one. I'm going to bed. <laughs>